It's always inspired me when someone said it doesn't work. I always wanted to try it out first and see if it can be done. And if it didn't, at least I tried. I'm a trained microbiologist and a fashion designer. And four years ago, I created Qmuk with the idea to make textile fibre from milk, which is actually 100% natural raw materials. I came up with the idea to make textile fibre from milk because about five years ago, my stepfather suffered from cancer and developed a textile allergy. Well, we were just a young fashion label at the time. We were four women and we were newcomers to the fibre industry. So we went to the experts and said, this is our idea but no one believed it could work. We were so desperate that we told ourselves, we believe in this idea and this somehow has to work. So we went to the supermarket with about 200 euros in our pockets and bought blenders and a giant thermometer because we didn't have a lab we could use. And then we just started to produce dough. There really wasn't a moment when I thought this isn't working. There just wasn't. Well, we work with milk which is past its sell-by date and what hardly anyone knows is that more than 2 million tonnes of milk are thrown away in Germany each year. Just imagine, that would be enough tetrad packs to stretch from the Earth to the Moon. There's a funny story about how we came to make cosmetics from milk. All day my technicians were standing by the machine and forming the dough. And when they came back home, their wives noticed how soft their hands were and complained that their own hands weren't as soft. In the end, it's possible to produce so many different things from milk. I can produce packaging, I can create technical components from it, and we're already beginning to see how we can improve the properties of plastic or even replace it entirely. I believe that biopolymers can help create a more sustainable electronics industry. And the difference between biopolymers and other plastics is that plastics are petroleum-based, but biopolymers are made out of natural raw materials. There are companies in the electronics industry who say that they want to make the industry more sustainable, but this material also has very special and interesting properties. It has no softness, it's flame retardant and electrically insulating. I haven't experienced any of my material's limits, so that's really remarkable. And that is actually what makes it so much fun, because we've created something completely new and that's amazing. And so, that's why people call me the Dairy Fibre Fairy. <laughs> <laughs>